Hi guys, today we are going to talk about indicators. Do you know what indicators are? This mark on my nail indicated that I voted on election day. When I breathe heavy, it indicates there is a lack of oxygen here. When an iron nail is pulled by a rod, it indicates that this rod is magnetic. Similarly, when in a liquid blue litmus turns red, it indicates that the liquid is acidic. Acids are substances that have a hydrogen atom and are sour in taste. Vinegar, tamarind, curd are some examples of acidic foods. Bases have a hydroxyl ion and are bitter to taste and have a soapy touch. Floor cleaners, soap, detergents are examples of bases. The strength of an acid or base is shown by a factor, pH. When pH is equal to 7, the solution is neutral, which is a perfect balance of acidic and basic nature. If the pH is less than 7, the acidic nature is far stronger than the basic nature and the solution shows acidic properties. On the other hand, if the pH is greater than 7, the basic nature is stronger, which gives the solution basic nature. Some substances change their color when in a basic medium. For example, turmeric stays yellow in acidic and neutral substances but turns red when in contact with a base. China rose turns red when used on acids and green when used on bases. Since these substances indicate the nature of the liquid, acidic or basic, they are called indicators. The most commonly used natural indicator is litmus. It is extracted from lichens. When an acidic solution touches it, it turns red and when a basic solution touches it, it turns blue. Besides these, we also have artificial chemically prepared indicators. Phenophthalin is colorless when mixed with acid and bright pink when mixed with a base. Bromothymol blue is another chemical indicator. It turns yellow when mixed with an acid and blue when mixed with a base. Oh, my alarm is ringing. That's an indicator. I have to go now. See you next time.